My name is Vimbika Sijapati Basnet, and I'm a social scientist at the Center for International Forestry Research. We are in a village called Nalma, and it's in uh, Lamjung district in Nepal. Uh, this is a part of a larger research uh, project that C4 is uh, carrying out in collaboration with a uh, number of partners. And uh, it's a part of a six-country study, and Nepal is one of the country studies. In Nepal, we're exploring the relationship between migration for economic purposes and uh, land use change um, uh, in different parts of Nepal. This is in the Middle Hills, but we also have research underway in, in the Tarai, which is the flatlands, and in, in, the, in the mountains, in the high mountains. Basically, migration is, has a really long history in Nepal. It's been happening for many, many generations. But since the mid-2000s, we've been witnessing a significant rise in migration rates. Uh, pretty much every day, uh, hundreds and hundreds of predominantly male from both rural and urban Nepal uh, migrate overseas, mostly to the Gulf, to Malaysia, and to other destinations for employment purposes. And uh, migration is contributing almost 30% of the GDP. In the agriculture, forestry, and rural development sector, there's barely any mention about migration at all. So what we wanted to do was to really address this um, both knowledge and policy gap and, and really highlight the significance that migration is happening uh, on you know, a wide range of land uses. मेरो नाम समता मानन्दर हो म फरेस्ट सेक्सनमा एक अनुसन्धान कर्ताको रूपमा आबद्ध छु हामीले यो ठाउँ छानुको मुख्य प्रयोजन भएको यो ठाउँमा पहिला देखि नै बसाईसराई भइरहेको ठाउँ हो र बसाईसराईको विभिन्न आयामहरु यहाँ देख्न सकिन्छ जस्तै यो ठाउँबाट नेपालको विभिन्न ठाउँमा बसाईसराई गर्नुको साथसाथै वैदेशिक रोजगारमा जाने so there are two main social groups in this village, Gurungs, who are a tibeto burman ethnic group, and Dalits, who are, uh, who are at the lowest rung in the, in, in the caste hierarchy in Nepal. Basically, the Gurungs have been participating in migration for a really long time. Uh, you know, uh, more than three, four generations ago, they've been going to the British Army, to the Indian Army, and even to the Nepali Army. So now what we are witnessing is like a second generation of migrants. A lot of their families are migrating internally uh, to get better access to health, better access to educational facilities. Um, and the ones who are left behind are exploring a lot more avenues for migration, not just limited to, uh, to uh, British armies and Indian armies anymore, but also as other workers, as far away places as Portugal here. Um, the Dalits, in comparison, they were historically brought to the village to work as agricultural laborers for the Gurungs. And they've been very much dependent on agriculture as the main source of livelihood. But they too have been witnessing a rise in male out migration, mostly to Qatar and to, to, um, to Saudi and to Malaysia. 